what's up? I'm Rachel Starr. So, one little thing, and I get this a lot, um, and I kind of ignore it. Like, it's cool. It doesn't really bother me what people think, especially, like, people I don't even know in real life. But I do get this comment a lot in my videos. That people think I'm faking my mental um, disorder. They think that, you know, there's no way that I could possibly have schizophrenia because I'm not drooling in the corner on myself. You know, I'll even have other schizophrenia and say, I don't understand how you're able to communicate so well. Um, so let me break it down for you. All right, first of all, you can have schizophrenia, bipolar, dysthymia, depression. Um, I mean, we can keep going on, but those are, I'm, I'm mentally, I've run out. But you know, there's tons, schizoaffective disorder. You can have all those different things and still be well-spoken, a uh, functioning member of society. How exactly am I able to be so well-spoken um, and able to talk in front of people? Well, for one, you guys, I grew up in professional theater. All right, at age, at age middle school, whatever age that would be, at age middle school, um, my parents were in plays and they really wanted their kids to be in some plays. And this is a huge um, theater, like it's fit 3,000 people. And I didn't want to do it because I was really shy and didn't want to do it. But there's this goat. <laughs> and I'm like, I will join if I can play with that goat. And Goat Girl was born. So, no, literally, I, I was Goat Girl for, like, that's what I did. I just wanted to bring out the goat. <laughs> like, that, that's what I did. Love that little goat. Look, I had a bunch of little goats. Moving on. <laughs> that's what got me into theater was a goat. My parents wanted, you know, this to be a family thing. Got my brother in it also. Um, but that goat was, that was the, that was okay. All right, you guys convinced me. If I could play with these goats, and I still love goats. Little pygmy, they're little pygmy goats. <laughs> they were so cute. <laughs> or so. Anyway, so um, I grew up in theater. All right. Um, <laughs> when I got a little bit older, I had uh, modeling and acting classes. Which, by the way, you've heard me from some, some of my videos. I actually also teach modeling and acting classes. One of the reasons is because when I was 16, 17, I took those, and they helped me so much with like posture, how to present yourself, how to public speak. People think of modeling and acting as you know just those two things, but really, it's all about presenting yourself. And, you know, I, I give, I've done classes, and I do classes, you know, even I break it down, how to walk in heels, how to have good posture, how to dress, okay, which you wouldn't be able to tell from my videos, but I do, I do dress better at times as I roll up my hoodie. Anyway, but, you know, how to present yourself, and a lot of that are just learned techniques. It has nothing to do with who you are as a person, all right? Some from, some from, some from, some from some of my past videos, you know, I've hit on how to be confident. You know, some different things like that. It's really easy to appear confident to people. Yeah, and even when I'm having, like, it's really funny. I, I had a job interview once, and I was tripping like crazy. I was in the middle of a psychotic, I, I remember at one point, tripping because of my mental disorder, not on drugs. Um, at one point, um, the lady asking me a question, and I, I had no clue what she had asked me. I don't know what my answer was. I don't, I just remember being like, like looping out of the way. And it was a group interview. Yay. So there were like three other people. And I just thought, I mean, for one, you got a group interview. You're clearly, you're clearly, you know, looking at your three options thinking, who's the best? You know, I'm thinking, I'm bombing this. I'm doing, I'm doing horrible. They're never going to pick me. Ironically, I got the job. Later on, when I felt comfortable, I, I asked the, the manager I had interviewed with, I'm like, could you, have told, could you tell during that interview that I was off? And, and to her, you know, she really couldn't remember. She's like, I don't, I don't think so. You know, I wouldn't have given you the job if I thought you were acting, you know, off. Keep in mind, that was her first time meeting me. And probably if it was someone who knew me, they could have told I was acting a little bit different. But yeah, I mean, I went through two, two years, I went through a lot of years of college, but two years of college, like, and I don't know how I passed the classes. I don't know what I was turning in, okay? Because I, I was, I was gone. <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, so understand, just because you have a mental disorder or a person has a mental disorder, don't think that, yeah, they're, they're just automatically the homeless person. You know, they're automatically someone who's talking to themselves. Yeah, I talk to myself. I do it a lot. Okay? Um, and when I catch myself doing it, I'm like, stop, Rachel, don't do that in public. Um, you know, I have to kind of pull myself back. Okay, I've been talking to myself, I gotta chill. <laughs> you know, I kind of have to rein myself in. 
All right, but it does help me. I talk whenever I'm driving, you guys, I'm talking out loud because it helps me to um, think, to actually say my thoughts helps them not get all jumbled up in my head. All right, whereas if I kind of can talk them through because I can't talk this, um, they, they become clearer and help me think out strategies. All right, but it is weird when I do that around other people. <laughs> um, but yeah. Having a mental disorder, I think of, you know, I, and I'm not saying like I'm extra smart or anything, but I do think if you have a mental disorder, you know, you probably are highly intelligent, not saying overall, <laughs> maybe overall for you, but in certain things that maybe other people aren't, okay? Like, you just may be able to, let's say, understand math a lot better. I've always said I'm really creative, I think, because of my schizophrenia. Because in this giant ball of mumbling mess, I have thousands and thousands of things constantly going on, and sometimes I'm able to pull out one of those things and concentrate on it and make something really cool. That's why I'm so creative and constantly making things and doing things. I, I, I God, I, I wish I could tell you all the movies I want to make, <laughs> and it's just like out of control, and it's really the only reason I don't make more stuff is money. Money and time. Money and time. <laughs> and for those of you out there that have a mental disorder, all right, I'll be honest, the number one thing that keeps people with mental disorders from not being more well-spoken, not being more active, more outgoing, is anxiety. Anxiety sucks, okay? It sucks a lot, all right? I think there's probably some anxiety sprinkled into almost all mental disorders at some point. Um, and it's not an easy thing to just be like, oh, get over it. <laughs> um, but I definitely think like for me learning, you know, over the years, again, I took those classes like so when I was 17 plus at whatever, I don't know how old kids are in middle school, whatever middle school, like I was being, I was pretty much in front of thousands of people with my goats. I mean, the people were there. I'm like, I got my goats. <laughs> um, but you know, tools and stuff, like I've been doing it for a while, but find tools that help you do what you need to do. Okay? Whether that's, yeah, going outside more every day. I don't care if it's going and being able to talk to the McDonald's person when they say, can I help, 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 can I take your order? And you being able to be like, look, this is what I want. Okay? Little steps. Little steps, coping mechanisms to get where you want to be. Rachel Starr. Um, mental health health playlist popping up, other videos you can definitely check out. Um, also, Little Broken Star. It's my book I wrote for ideally children with schizophrenia, but also pretty much anyone with schizophrenia um, and other mental disorders as far as deals with hallucinations, depression, all that kind of stuff on Amazon.com, Kindle, um, link in the YouTube description. And don't, you know, have that, you know, pre preconceived conception. I'm like well spoken and then tumbling over my words. Anyway, just don't.